You've emailed me your slides, so just um, continue talking, and, and if I can bring up the slides, we'll do that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry for the uh, previous things. Uh, I'm really facing some technical issue to show my slides, uh, but uh, let me uh, give a little bit, uh, like summarize the topic in like ten minutes. So uh, what I'm gonna speak today is about uh, democratizing uh, data-driven decision with the self-service tool and uh, how you will achieve that. Uh, let me give you a small story, right? Uh, let's assume um, to compare uh, the analogy between uh, a restaurant and the cooking studio. What happens in the restaurant uh, when uh, you are looking, uh, when you are hungry, uh, you either decide like, okay, I can go to the restaurant or I can go for um, any hawker center or a fine dine. And uh, what you get is a menu with a list of food and you select what you want to eat and the chef will prepare and serve you. So here, what you're doing is selecting um, a software, which is uh, either your hawker center or a fine dine. And then uh, what you're getting is your dish, right? So what happens if you go in a cooking studio? You get full access for the kitchen. Uh, you can pick your ingredients. Uh, you can communicate with all the chefs who are your platform providers and uh, you can communicate uh, and the platform uh, providers can enable you with the chefs, uh, uh, with the cooks and uh, you get your uh, ingredient uh, mixed together and you can innovate something with your dish. So that is the main difference between the restaurant and the cooking studio. What, what I'm gonna talk today is the same. What happens in the uh, restaurant uh, versus what happened in the uh, cooking studio? The application versus platform, how the self-service uh, uh, works in the in the organization. So, uh, if uh, if we uh, we all are aware, like uh, in the world, uh, data is becoming the new oil, and the value is increasing day by day. So, identifying and communicating the business values, and uh, integrating it with the self-service. Uh, uh, adoption and uh, enabling it with the platform to get your business outcome is really important. And uh, how we will be getting to that? Uh, in our organization at DBS, we follow the four A policies, uh, which is uh, like a framework. It's like ask, acquire, analyze, and act. So if you have any business problem, you first ask a question, uh, define the problem, what you're looking for, then you acquire it, uh, by designing the solution and uh, making a data um, metadata or data model. Then you analyze it uh, by creating a data processes, data pipeline, and then you act by creating dashboards or KPIs uh, to consume the data and meet your outcome uh, like a business uh, proposition. If the business uh, doesn't meet the outcome, uh, you again reevaluate because business is keep changing with the agile approach. And uh, you have to keep changing your um, data or your outcome as well. So what happens in this uh, framework, uh, you can, uh, whatever you have built previously, other people in the organization can make use of that as a reusable asset, or you can keep following these four, uh, four A's and get your outcome more refined and uh, meet your business uh, requirements. So uh, when we uh, talk about that, if we go further in a really technical aspect, uh, how it works uh, in the organization, we have different departments and different departments have different data and databases to work on. But sometimes you, we all face like, I'm looking for some data, but uh, I don't know, um, I know my own systems and my own business uh, unit, but I don't know what is happening on the other marketing side or sales side. So how I need to communicate with those people to get the data, but because data is a prior, needs a lot of, um, you know, security access and other details, you can't really have a uh, vision for what is going on in the other department that easily. So uh, how, how it happened in the data lake or a data centralized data platform, you ingest all the data from different departments in one place, like how we learned in the cooking studio. And you have all the data together. Uh, what you can do, you can, you can see this uh, with the help of uh, governance, uh, like looking at the metadata. And uh, you know like what are the um, metadata available from the different department as well. And you can make, uh, you can bro broaden your horizons and you can make uh, decisions uh, which are uh, more uh, 
towards the biz, uh, business outcomes. So this is what you can achieve in that. And how will you achieve that, right? So we have a center of uh, excellence by having self-service portals or the education system, uh, which enables you or guide you to understand what are the tools available, how you can make use of that platform, how you will connect. So microservices is the technology with the help of API gateways, you can connect and communicate with a lot of different uh, cross-functional uh, business data and you get your outcome in the very short span. So the data uh, which you used to spend like one month uh, to get it from the different sources, now you, with the help of uh, having data lake, uh, you can actually get it uh, between two to three days. So that has changed. The shift has happened because of the self-service um, uh, implementation. And to have this self-service in place is basically you need to educate the business users and the, everyone uh, to uh, start using the studio and start using the um, all the tools in the platform uh, with the help of education uh, model. There are a lot of tools available in the market uh, like uh, Power BI, Presto, Python, Trifracta, these are like some of the examples uh, which actually leads to the better outcome of the company. So what has changed and why we are talking about this is practically cultural shift and the tool adoption rate uh, because you get the faster data access. Uh, and we avoid working in silos, like I know my data and I work on this. I don't know what is going on the other. So we avoid that. And then uh, because of the cell service, you actually uh, enter in the kitchen like a cooking studio and get everything, all the platform access, all the software you can actually view and you can make your own uh, solution from that. So that is what we achieve. One of the real time scenario I came across in uh, DBS recently is like in the in the or, in the organization uh, we have different business unit. So one of the business unit uh, they had like operational side and the tech side. So uh, the tech side were actually having access for all the data, and they were the one who were taking care of all the different layers. But the operation side uh, cannot can connect to the data and make use of that. But they can't really modify the data based on the business requirement, right? And I, I'm looking for certain data. So uh, what I did, I connected to the data from the tech side, but I modified everything by creating ETL pipelines in my own systems and then projected it. So this is time consuming because I have to work again. But uh, if you have access to the data platform, you can directly hop into that and you save time up to 45 to 50 percent mm -hmm. and you get your uh, outcomes. So that is what, uh, like recently, we have observed in few of the business is how much time uh, based on the statistics. So uh, what is the key takeaway from the entire uh, demonstration today is the culture change and the self-service because you get access for all the tools. And the center of excellence of the education system will enable you to uh, get this, th uh, th uh, this uh, approach executed. So um, yeah. And, uh, Thank you for uh, letting me speak on that. I've run out of time, but uh, feel free to contact me to actually have a discussion on this later on or on LinkedIn or on my email ID, which uh, maybe John helped me to um, uh, broadcast to other users as well. It's, I can't share. Okay. All right. Thanks very much, Yojas. I'm, I'm sorry we had trouble with your, your slides. Um, yeah. um, thanks for giving a, the, uh, the highly condensed uh, version of, of your talk. Uh, 